President George W. Bush is in town tonight to promote his new book. He also weighed in on the role of the media after President Trump called them the enemy of the American people. KCO 9's Andrew Fujii is live at the Reagan Library tonight in Simi Valley with more on this story. Andrew? Well, Jeff, President Bush talked about how painting has changed his life, and he also touched on remarks he made about the need for a free press. Resounding applause for the 43rd President George W. Bush. The packed house at the Reagan National Library listened to him talk about his love for painting, a skill he realized he had after he left the Oval Office. You don't know what you can do unless you try it. Now he's released his third book, Portraits of Courage, consisting of 66 oil paintings he's painted of veterans and an essay about each. And the courage of those who are willing to volunteer to wear the uniform, and so in painting them, was, I had a lot of pride. The president also clarified remarks he made about how the press is essential to democracy. Some took as a shot at President Trump, who said the press is the enemy. Of course, the headlines were Bush criticizes Trump, and so therefore I needed to say there should be a free and independent press, but it ought to be accurate. The president says since he left office, he made a decision not to criticize successive presidents. I understand there's a lot of critics, and I, I don't, I, I don't want to make the president's job worse no matter what political party it is. It's a hard job. And says now his focus is on painting and helping veterans. Scott Flanagan from Oxnard is a veteran and says he appreciates attention to the cause. It makes me uh, know that I was, uh, you know, uh, my time serving was uh, appreciated and uh, knowing that Commander in Chief uh, respected us for what we were doing. Others agree. We want to thank President Bush for honoring the men and women defending our country. President Bush says he hopes his love of painting can now support those who've defended our country. To help our vets for the rest of my life, and this is just one way to do so. And President Bush says he'll be donating all the proceeds from his book sales to his initiative, which helps veterans transition back to civilian life. Susie, back to you. Okay.